From the cockpit GUI, use the Model Training tab and navigate to Training. A list of already trained models are displayed in the middle panel. A new training can be started by clicking on the plus icon. In the rightmost panel, a helpful template is displayed for performing the setup. Here, let us create a model called toys underscore demo and choose the topic toys underscore trained and the model type as object detection. Let us also specify the training framework and a pre-trained model via the drop-down menus. Furthermore, if desired, the dataset split, learning rate and batch size can be changed. The default value is set to 20, which means that the model is tested on 20% of the dataset. A summary of the dataset based on the selection above is shown here. Total number of images with bounding boxes and the number of the bounding boxes for each object class. We can now start the training by clicking on Start Training. At first, the dataset and the corresponding annotations are prepared and exported to the training environment. The progress of the task can be monitored via the progress bar. A feedback is provided in the training log window when the model training starts. At this stage, the TensorBoard link becomes active and the metrics can be observed using the link to the TensorBoard here. To continue receiving automatic updates of the training logs, please do not navigate away from this page until the training is completed. Otherwise, the logs will no longer be displayed. Additionally, all the fields of the template are disabled once the Start Training button is clicked to avoid any inconsistencies. By the 12th epoch, all object classes are above 90% confidence, and that in under 7 minutes. Once the model training has finished, a message shows up in the logs as seen here. On reloading the page, the model that we just trained is seen under the list of models. Let us click on it and export a checkpoint based on the metrics from TensorBoard. Let us select the 19th checkpoint. A successful export message pops up as seen here. Please note that neither the logs nor the status message of the training will be visible upon a. Page Reload b. Page Navigation and c creation of a new model. Additionally, regardless of the model name, the TensorBoard link is always redirected to the latest performed training.